but I have to tell you, this one performs phenomenally well. The goal of this channel is to always provide all of you with the best AI apps, tips, resources, and digital marketing strategies, especially any discoveries that can help 10x your productivity. So today's video is a little bit different because I'm inviting you into my personal world to share some of my processes and tools. So whenever I discover a resource that's beneficial for my productivity or creation process, I want to share them with all of you as well. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Check the links in the description. In many of my videos, I received a lot of comments and questions asking about what tools or software or hardware I use for editing and creating these specific videos. And I love being an open book, especially if it helps provide you with as much information as possible. So when I was introduced to this tool I'm about to show you today, I just knew that this was possibly something that may be of interest to you, specifically as a 10x productivity booster. The tool I want to show you today is an amazing one, and it's called Loop Deck, specifically the Loop Deck Live S. It's like a personal sidekick for streaming, for editing, graphic design, and productivity. So maybe you've seen other items like this before, but I have to tell you, this one performs phenomenally well, and it actually does some things that other similar tools do not. It has helped my productivity a lot. So it says, stream your best content, connect with your audience, adjust your audio effortlessly, and manage your daily productivity tasks, all from one simple interface. This sums it up perfectly. You can use 25 hands or one Loop Deck Live S, and and that's exactly what's been happening. You have everything basically directly within your fingertips. And now in fact, here is the actual loop deck right here on my desk, and I'm actually using it right now to make this actual video. So you get two analog dials, 15 touch buttons with haptic feedback, and then you get four RGB buttons. And everything can be done with just a swipe or just a simple press of a button with your finger. So what I really like about this is that it could read exactly what you're doing. So right now, since I'm on the internet and I'm looking Looking at Loop Deck's actual page on everything that this thing can do, as soon as I go over to a different tool, in this case, I'm gonna go over to OBS Studio, notice how instantly now my Loop Deck has a completely different interface, and you can see there's all different buttons right here. But then again, as soon as I click over to the internet, then you could see I get a completely different set of buttons, and I'll just do this in real time, and then you could see exactly how it's gonna change. And I do wanna thank Loop Deck for actually sponsoring this video. And speaking of sponsorships or affiliate programs, programs, anything I participate in are only for the ones I highly recommend, use myself, and strongly believe can help any of you in your content creation journey. And this is one of those products I walked away highly impressed with. This is now an important VIP. So the loop deck I'm using right now is the loop deck Live S. So check this out. Like I said, one interface controls all the power, easy navigation and organization, and then the seamless interface. And so you can see here it is in my actual hand right now. You can see how small it is, but it packs a lot of power for the size. But one of the things I noticed about this right away is how sleek and compact it is, which is important, especially when you're considering managing space. And then it actually does have a high quality build that really fits well in my hands. So as I begin to zoom out, you'll be able to see how compact compact and sleek it is and how easy it fits on my desk. So these actual buttons right here are very cool because they're all touchscreen, but anytime I press a button, they produce a nice haptic feedback just to aid in a confirmation that what you just pressed, it's confirming that it's following your command. And then another cool thing is that everything is fully customizable. So as you're looking at these actual logos right now, for an example, this Leonardo AI one, I just added that custom logo myself. As soon as I click this Leonardo AI button, you could see that it instantly takes me to Leonardo AI. You can see my loop deck in the top right hand corner of your screen. Watch this. So in real time, since I'm on the internet, it automatically displays the icons based on what app I'm working on. But watch what happens in real time as I come over to OBS and now I click OBS to work within that, it's going to automatically default back to those buttons. So it's so cool how based on what program you're in, it's going to actually produce a completely different set of icons. Okay, so now check this out. Notice I'm in Final Cut Pro. Bro, I get a completely different set of icons. I go back to OPS and then those change in real time. Now back to the internet, icons instantly change. So like I said, these are the actual touchscreen buttons. But then again, you also have these dials up in the top left hand corner, which have dual functionality for press and rotate, but then you can also customize it however you like. So in many examples, it can control my volume and even my Philips Hue lights on my desk. So notice some of the lights behind my desk. Okay. With one click of a button, I'm going to 
actually dim them and then I can change the whole entire color scheme. So I'm going to make it a lot brighter right now. So I'm getting a brighter LED style, but then I'm going to go back to a different style to where there's now pinks and a little bit of blue. And now I'm on more of a red and orange settings. So right now in real time, I'm actually controlling my Philips Hue lights that illuminate my whole entire room. So then right now back over here in the loop deck, you can also see I have some of my favorite websites and apps already on display. Keep an eye out on your screen and then the loop deck in the top right hand corner. So instantly I'm now going to go ahead and select Canva and now it takes me to Canva. If I want to go back to Leonardo AI, one button back to Leonardo AI. Okay. How about now I want to go to chat GPT. Here it is chat GPT. So you could fully customize this and add your most frequented apps or websites on your loop deck. All you literally have to do is just plug it in with a USB dash C, but then it also comes with an adapter, a C to A adapter. So as mentioned earlier, I'm using it to edit this video in Final Cut Pro. And it also works flawlessly with Adobe Premiere and all of the Adobe products as well. In fact, I use it a ton for both Photoshop and Illustrator. So let me give you a quick example. So I'm over here right now in Final Cut Pro. And as soon as I click on the Final Cut Pro button, my loop deck buttons automatically all change. So right now I'm in the middle of my timeline on Final Cut Pro. If I want to instantly go all the way back to the start point, all it takes is just one simple click of a button. Here's an example right here in the bottom left hand corner. I'm now just going to select this button. So as soon as I press that button, do you see how it automatically brought me to the very first point of my edits? Now, what if I want to go all the way to the end again? Now, what I'll do is come back to loop deck and now select this button and now look at my timeline. Now it jumps all the way to the very end. And so I have a ton of customized instant things I can do in Final Cut Pro. So for an example, I can insert my media. I can add instant transitions, zoom in, zoom out. And what's cool about these dials right here is that these basically add new pages and new elements to it. As I click on each one, it's going to bring me to a completely different set of things I can do all within Final Cut Pro. Now you can see see things like relink files or copy cut and paste. And then if I select this one here, now it brings me back to even more settings and more settings and now even more settings. So extremely easy, especially if you're going to use this for editing videos in Final Cut Pro or even Adobe Premiere. Things where I used to have to do multiple keyboard strokes, I can now just quickly do with one click of a button. Okay, so check this one out. Now I'm on Leonardo AI, but then if I come over back to Loop Deck and I select this YouTube logo icon, it's now actually going to open up my actual Metrics Mule YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. And then again, like I showed you earlier, it controls all of my Philips Hue lights, creating shortcuts to activate with just one click of a button. And then again, controlling OBS, graphic design, specifically using it in Photoshop and Illustrator, and the list goes on. There are so many shortcuts and integrations that you can customize and use for yourself. So now, even like I mentioned earlier, now I'm over here in Photoshop. And then again, you can see over here on my loop deck screen, everything is completely completely changed to full Photoshop style tools. And I can't tell you how amazingly helpful that's been specifically in Photoshop or Illustrator. But then one of the most convenient things is that Loop Deck provides native API based integrations with most streaming software like OBS, Streamlabs, Twitch, and then Photoshop, etc. So as you can see, the look of my actual Loop Deck is 100% matched up with the Loop Deck within the dashboard itself. The beauty in this is that everything is fully customizable. So notice as I change the different screens and I change pages within the actual dashboard, they're also going to be changing in real time on the actual device in my loop deck. But then as I hover over these control buttons, you can see what each one is assigned to. This one's volume. This one is media track control. And then these nice illuminated ones are for specific different pages. So this interface you see is actually quite amazing. So right now you can see at the very top, I'm in what's called my main profile. That's going to be my map. Mac OS default. So that's basically what you see right now on your screen. This is my default one where it basically has a lot of my favorite websites and apps that I frequent in addition to other things that I use. Like here is my OBS one right here. Okay. But now watch this. Now I can change my profile up and let's say I want to go to my Final Cut Pro one. My actual loop deck in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and the actual dashboard of loop deck both mimic each other. But since I'm in my Final Cut Pro profile, 
Now, when I change my pages now, now I'm getting a completely different set of icons, all based on Final Cut Pro, specifically 100%. And then the same thing can happen if I go to a OBS one, okay? Now I'm in the OBS profile, and now all these different pages and all these different settings are completely OBS related. So this is what I'm doing right now to quickly change the scene I'm looking at. So right now I'm gonna select this button right here, and now it's a full view of myself. If I wanna go back to what we were just looking at, I now just select a different button, and now here I am back here. So what I just basically showed you is what's called dynamic mode, okay? Dynamic mode, you can see right here, it's off, now it's on. Dynamic mode basically allows Loop Deck to instantly change all the icons and the dashboard of the actual product simply by changing what app that you're in. So like I said earlier, I'm on the website right now, but as soon as I transform over to Photoshop, all these icons change now to Photoshop. But another impressive aspect is the organizational method. You're gonna get up to 14 pages that you can use to structure and organize everything. Then you're gonna get different workspaces like the ones I just showed you. And then within each workspace, you can customize and assign different actions like I just showed you a second ago. Actions like zooming in, zooming out, or going to a direct web page. And then you can also control your whole entire operating system. Once I gave Loop Deck permission to communicate with my computer, now I can basically change everything all within just one hand. This one right here specifically, I can take a complete screenshot and not have to do all these different gymnastics by using different fingers and different keystrokes on my actual keyboard. And now back over here to the interface, this is also very easy to use. So I could search for different customizations, but then on the top right hand corner, I could basically filter it by press actions versus search for things that are gonna be filter rotate actions, okay? And so the difference between these two are, these buttons right here are what's known as press actions because I'm pressing the actual button. But then these knobs right here are what's considered filter rotate actions. But then before we wrap it up, this video wouldn't be complete without actually showing you all of the amazing integrations that you can use with Loop Deck. In fact, they have a very extensive marketplace that they're actually updating quite a bit. So back over here on the interface, in the top right hand corner, you'll see it's called Marketplace. If I select Marketplace, it's automatically gonna populate and instantly you could see all of these amazing integrations that you could use within Loop Deck itself. So right now, we have 39 different profiles, 27 different plugins, icon packs, sound packs, etc., Twitch, and then Spotify, OBS Studio, Microsoft. The list just goes on and on. And like I mentioned, they continue adding to this more and more. So one of the main reasons why I consider Loop Deck one of my new VIPs is that I've used other tools before, but what I really love about this one is just the sleekness and how compact it is. I've used this on both my desktop and my laptop. So if I'm traveling out of town, I can bring it with my laptop, and it really is only a little bit bigger than an actual cell phone. And so just as an actual comparison, here are the two images right here. So we have the actual loop deck, and then we have my phone just directly above it. So you could see there really isn't that big of a difference in how compact this is. But I especially love the fact that I can control so many elements of my computer, but also all the apps I'm using with just one simple click of a button. And if I look over here on the right hand side, if I scroll through a lot of these options, so we can see I have keyboard shortcuts, open applications, I can even play a sound, multi-toggle, mouse clicks, and then the list goes on. Then I can get even further by expanding this, and now I have all these options for clipboard, control center, date and time. Really every single possibility is right here at your fingertips. I can go all the way down the widgets, but then you have more options when you uncollapse a lot of these other options, okay? And then if you stream on like, let's say Twitch, we have a ton of Twitch options. Here are my Philips Hue lights, and then even on OBS. Tons of options for OBS, which I think is gonna be one of the most beneficial and helpful reasons to really use this. So the customization really is almost limitless with everything you can do. So let me know what you guys think. What specific tools are you using, or are you already familiar with this one, Loop Deck? But thank you so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.